you see this is a good question on the very basic concept of polynomials over here and you see this is given to us p of 1 is equal to p of 2 is equal to p of 3 is equal to 0 and also you don't have to multiply by any real number over here the reason being you see the leading coefficient is also 1 so you don't have to bother about that so this is the value of p of 4 now what about p of 0 let us find that so what is the value of this thing if you see from here p of 4 plus p of 0 hello everybody so you see this is a good question on the very basic concept of polynomials over here so it is given to us that if p of x is equal to x raised to the power 4 plus ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d and you see this is given to us p of 1 is equal to p of 2 is equal to p of 3 is equal to 0 then you have to find the value of p of 4 plus p of 0. So suppose you think that in order to find p of 4 and p of 0 over here, first you will put 1 in the polynomial, then that is equal to 0, then you will put 2 in the polynomial, then that thing is equal to 0, then you will put 3 in the poly polynomial, then that thing is equal to 0, but it will waste your time, right? And most probably it will take uh, like 7-8 minutes for you to do, to do that, right? But you see, if you use the basic concept of zeros of a polynomial, you can do this question quickly. It is given to us that p of 1 is equal to p of 2 is equal to p of 3 is equal to 0. So can we say that x is equal to 1, 2 and 3 are the zeros of this polynomial? And because it's a 4 degree polynomial, we can uh, assume that one more zero is alpha, right? So can I not say that the polynomial p of x over here can be represented like this x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3 and x minus alpha over here, right? And also you don't have to multiply by any real number over here. The reason being you see the leading coefficient is also 1. So you don't have to bother about that. So this is the exact representation of this polynomial. Now you have to find p of 4 plus p of 0. You see it will be very easy for us. So we have to find p of 4 first. So in this polynomial over here we can put x is equal to 4. So let us do that. So you see 4 minus 1, 4 minus 2, 4 minus 3 and 4 minus alpha. I hope this is clear. So let's simplify. This is 3, this is 2. This is 1 and this is 4 minus alpha over here. If you open up the bracket, you'll get 6 4s are 24 minus 6 alpha. So this is the value of p of 4. Now what about p of 0? Let us find that. It means in the polynomial, we have to put x is equal to 0. So it will be 0 minus 1, 0 minus 2, 0 minus 3 and 0 minus alpha over here, right? So let's simplify this thing guys. So basically uh, it will be 3 2s are 6 and you see 4 negative signs are there. So it will come out to be 6 alpha only. So you see over here we have got p of 4 to be equal to 24 minus 6 alpha and p of 0 to be equal to 6 alpha. So what is the value of this thing if you see from here p of 4 plus p of 0 will be equal to 24 minus 6 alpha plus 6 alpha. So I can cancel out 6 alpha over here and you see 24 is the answer. I hope this is clear to you.